Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and it is that time of year to upgrade to the next biggest thing and that is the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. So in today's video, we will be using Samsung Smart Switch to transfer everything from the S23 Ultra over to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. We're going to see how long it would take if you're to do it wirelessly, but also how long it will take via the cable. So in this way, you can see which one has a faster method. When do you move the SIM card over? Do you move your SIM card before or after Samsung Smart Switch? Now, for me personally, I always just transfer everything first. This way, if somebody texted me, called me, if I got an email, if there's a notification I need to respond to just immediately, I have the OG original phone with every single thing there. I can always respond back when this is done. But if that doesn't even happen, basically I just transfer everything over, then I move the SIM card over. That is where you then do your test phone call and then your test text message to make sure everything is working. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at one more last thing. This is the most vanilla Galaxy S24 Ultra you're ever gonna see. Nothing has been added, no accounts, no pictures, no applications. I haven't even changed any settings. I haven't even taken a look at this where it actually has that dot still sitting there. Let's see how much internal storage we're starting with with a one terabyte Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Again, absolutely nothing sitting on here. And so far it is taking up 31 gigs. It may sound like a lot, but it's only 3% which is not much at all. So there's only one audio file. That's basically like that over the horizon song. Uh, you also have 9.57 gigs being used for applications, which is, you know, Google messages, Samsung notes, smart things, Samsung health shop, Samsung. So it's a lot of the stuff that, you know, is sitting there that is actually helpful and beneficial. Uh, you also have 16.99 gigs for system and 4.39 for other. So everything totaling, 31 gigs. Now I have that one terabyte of internal storage here. If you have that 512, then that means you're using six gigs. But hopefully you guys all went for that one terabyte as this one's finally available for that double the storage on them at the price of the 512 price. So that is everything I wanted to cover before we actually transferred everything over. 31 gigs is being used up on this phone here of all Samsung applications, only 3%. Now let's see how long it takes to transfer everything over. So now to use Samsung Smart Switch, all you gotta do is head inside of your settings. You're gonna scroll down to where it says accounts and backup, and you're gonna do that on both devices. So you just go to accounts and backup. Now, one of the things you will notice is that the wording is slightly different, at least from Samsung One UI 6.0 to 6.1. On the older one right here, it says bring data from old device. And this one over here for 6.1 says transfer data for device setup. So it's the same thing. It's just right underneath Samsung smart switch right there. And what I'm going to do here is this is the old device. So I'm going to send the data. This one's going to receive the data and we're going to see how long it'll take wirelessly first. And it's coming from a Samsung phone wireless because we will actually do it via the cable. I just want to see how long it would take wirelessly. And you just want to hit on connect. And right now it's just kind of searching. It's, it's basically reading every single thing on this phone to see how long it would take and how much stuff it has to transfer over. The one thing that does take the longest is probably your text messages because it's gonna be all your text messages in chronological, chronological order of not only your conversations, but also chronological order of the conversation itself per each person. So if I transfer everything, it's 191 gigs, which will take an hour and 55 minutes. So that is what I will do with the cable. So basically one hour 55. But what you can do is go to custom. Now the benefit of choosing custom is you can actually choose what you want to move over. So for example, let's just say, let's just take messages just to kind of make it go quick. You could transfer all of it or you just do something for the last two years, one year, six months, three months, 30 days. Obviously whatever is the last 30 days is probably more important uh, than your entire life of your phone. I mean, maybe the last three months is something that's that's pretty good. If you have to have every single thing from however long you had your phone, you might want to back up or store those messages somewhere. Um, I would normally state probably the last three months or 30 days is what you really technically need to move over. And that's a lot of these things that you see right here. Same thing with like, let's say images, you know, maybe that there is a lot of folders up over here that you do or don't want to transfer over. So if there is some of these that you technically don't 
don't want when it comes down over into some of these folders, you can see that things are moving down quite a bit when it comes down over into, you know, if there are some of these folders like clipped images, DCIM, my downloads. So yes, you can go through and actually customize what is moving over. I just wanted to show you that. So then this way you can do custom. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna exit real quick, plug it on in with the cable, and we're gonna see how long it takes. Originally it was again, one hour, 55 minutes uh, via wireless. So now to actually do the Samsung smart switch via the cable, again, all you gotta do is head right over inside of your accounts and backup. You're gonna go inside of your settings, accounts and backup. And then again, transfer data, bring the data. So again, this is the old one over here. So I'm going to send it and I'm gonna do it via the cable. Now I'm gonna go right here, right now, plugging it in. Then over here, I'm going to receive it. Once you head on to receive, you're basically gonna choose the Galaxy. Uh, we're gonna do cable. And then now I want to plug it in. Now you might notice that if you went to, you know, this further screen right here and you tried to plug it in and maybe it doesn't connect like this, um, pretty much all you would have to do is, if you run into this issue, unplug it, go back, plug it back in, hit cable, and now it's able to transfer and move over. So it is a little finicky when it comes down to when you plug in, but you always wanna plug in the old phone first and then the new phone. Basically, I plugged it in over here and before I chose cable, I plugged in, hit cable, and now it did it. So if you remember, it was 191 gigs the first time. Wirelessly, it was supposed to be one hour, 55 minutes. Now it's one hour and 30 minutes. So it saves you roughly about 25 minutes. Now, once you are connected, you hit on next, and I'm gonna choose just the last three months for the text messaging. I don't need to have every single thing. Um, transfer the accounts. So basically over here, just give it the permissions. This is where you put in your credentials, your fingerprint or your password, whatever it may be. It's going to grab all the details and transfer it over to the next device. Now, the one thing I like about this newer Samsung Smart Switch, which I believe started last year in 2023, is that if you had something in your secure folder, it will actually move everything from this secure folder into the new secure folder on your brand new phone. You just have to make sure you put in your PIN or code or whatever password you're using for it. But it's pretty nice because beforehand, it used to always get lost and stuck and actually nothing would transfer over. And here we are starting the transfer process. And the thing is that there is stuff in my secure folder. There's actually some videos that I threw inside of there so this way you know when there is something to transfer over when it comes down to Samsung smart switch then that secure folder would be able to pop up so I have quite a few 4k videos that I was able to shoot out in California on this one that I moved over to the secure folder so it did maybe add a little bit more time to this maybe not but basically originally it was supposed to be uh, the one hour 55 minutes it is actually one hour 36 minutes so it, it did add a little bit because of the secure folder. But other than that, this one is still going to save you 20 to 25 minutes via the cable. And then since they both have really good battery life, I always would like to state that when you are doing Samsung Smart Switch, just charge it up before you do Samsung Smart Switch. And if you want, you can actually keep the screen on. It's going to dim it down, but it's a way that you can kind of just watch it run its course. Now it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So now everything has been transferred over. Now currently it is still organizing all of the transferred data. But from here, basically, this phone over here is finished. So the original start time that we did all of this was at 9.17 p.m. And it stated it'll take one hour and 37 minutes, which means that it should have been done at 10.54 p.m. So this one actually finished at 10.26 p.m. It took one hour and 11 minutes. So this one was a little bit quicker than what it originally stated by about 26 or 27 minutes. So like I said from before, this is now where you're able to take a look at your notifications. You can respond to those notifications when you're finished with all that good stuff. 
This is now where you use your SIM tool. You take the SIM card out, put it over inside of your brand new phone, do your phone call, do your text message, make sure everything goes through. Then you wanna make sure you take a look inside of your gallery. You also wanna take a look inside of your text messages, make sure all of those are sitting there. You also wanna take a look inside of your, your contact list, make sure that all your contacts move over. And if that's the case, you have your brand new phone, everything's switched on over. You can now factory data reset your old device. And also too, don't forget, you're now able to unplug the cable. So everything transferred on over and it's pretty fun because you can take a look at the data transfer results. So yeah, my all of my home screens look good, all of my applications, all of my folders are sitting here. So basically it breaks every single thing down. It was right over 9,000 items, a little over 192 gigs. It has all of my videos, 854 of them, which was 137 gigs, 190 apps, basically 41 gigs. The images, a little over 2,800 images at almost nine gigs, all of my settings, all of the documents and files, Galaxy wearables, my audio, messages, home screens, calls and contacts, my accounts. The only thing that, that it did not copy over was an application called Video, which it didn't need to do that. So yeah. Pretty fun to take a look at your data transfer results. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.